What's up, guys? Run Good Vapes here. So, we're going to go on a little rant. This is going to be a little different, not reviewing any liquids right now. But we do need to address a major issue. Today, we're going to have a little talk about diacetyl. I've seen a few people posting the article that came out from the Harvard Gazette today. I've seen it all over Facebook. We've heard the same discussion for what, two years now? But I need to put some mistruths, some misunderstanding, some lies, some flat out ignorance. I've got to put it to rest. At least do my little part to put it to rest. What is diacetyl? Why am I talking about diacetyl? Diacetyl is found in a shit ton of food. Diacetyl is found in beer. Diacetyl is found in popcorn. We eat diacetyl. We ingest diacetyl. Hmm. Hmm. That's pretty interesting. Huh. Diacetyl is also considered by the FDA generally regarded as safe and a list of food additive products. That's the GRAS list. Hmm. So we eat diacetyl. It's generally regarded as safe by ingesting it, yet we have all these people stirring up all this drama about diacetyl in our juice. Is diacetyl the greatest thing for us? Probably not. Is diacetyl going to improve our skin tone or make us stop aging? Sadly, no. It's simply a flavoring product, a strong buttery cream substance, diacetyl, yet we're all going crazy. Everyone is worried. Does my e-juice have diacetyl? Oh my gosh, my friend vapes and he's inhaling diacetyl. Do we know a lot about the effects of inhaling diacetyl instead of ingesting diacetyl? You know what, we don't. But we do have a few great comparisons. First off, I'm going to start by talking about a guy, Dr. Farsalinos. He kind of originated some of this hoopla. He brought out, you know, some discussion on diacetyl. But what's funny is he also, on December 8th, Tuesday, 2015, hmm, today, because this Harvard Gazette article claimed that we're all going to die, basically. We'll get into that here in a little bit. That article was released, and a lot of these articles in the past have referenced Dr. Farsalino and his findings. So he released an article today that I will link uh, below in the video info. But it says, A new study finds diacetyl in e-cigarettes, but exaggerate risks and fails to discuss the smoking aspect. So the man that we're all going back to had to release a statement pretty much saying you're exaggerating everything, which is a good point. Read the article. It's great. He's, he hits a, a lot of discussion points that are worth reading. I suggest you read through that. Like I said, I'll link it. But basically, Dr. Farsalinos is addressing what many of us have already discussed, have already talked about. And that's, simply put, that diacetyl is in cigarettes. It's also in the microwavable popcorn that you pop. It's also in beer because it's created in the fermentation process. Crazy. But guess what? Diacetyl is in cigarettes. You know how much diacetyl is in cigarettes? Let's talk about it. So, I'm not a scientist, but you can look up the facts. CDC, FDA, I mean, you can look some of this stuff up. 
So let me just show you this. This right here is a 15 milliliter bottle of e-liquid. This happens to be one of my favorites, the Staff Shots Flavor Saver. But this is a 15 milliliter bottle. Okay, this is what you generally buy 10 to 12 bucks at your local vape shop. You can get them a little cheaper online through different companies. And I'll just use the same company for comparison. This is a 30 milliliter bottle. This is a little more, twice as much, obviously. So I'm going to use this 30 milliliter bottle for what I'm about to discuss. This 30 milliliter bottle would last me... I'm not a chain vapor. Probably last me four or five days. Four or five days, right? When I was smoking, you know how many cigarettes I smoked in a day? I was smoking a pack, a pack and a half of cigarettes a day. There is more. Wait, 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 wait. What did I just say? There is more diacetyl in one cigarette than there is in this 30 milliliter bottle. Wait, run good vapes, what did you just say? I'm confused. There's all this hoopla about diacetyl and my e-liquid juice. Yeah, that's right. More diacetyl in one cigarette than a 30 milliliter bottle that would take me four or five days. Let's say four days I smoke 30 cigarettes a day back when I smoked, that's 120 cigarettes. Huh, 120 cigarettes to this bottle. Interesting, because Dr. Farsalinos brought up an interesting point. He said there's 100 times, 110 times more diacetyl in a cigarette than there is in the typical e-juice. Looks like my findings came out to be about the same. Now that's not scientific. I'm not breaking it down by the hooplas and the billion parts and this and that, but if those are accurate statements coming from a doctor, it looks like when I do the math on my own smoking, it comes out to be the same. So, if my e-juice, if I can go four or five days with getting the same amount of diacetyl inhaled, because that's how I smoke a cigarette, down the same path, out the same path, if I get the same amount over four or five days that I got in one cigarette, I think I've done a dang good job at eliminating most of my diacetyl inhalation. I'm getting a little worked up because I'm a little ticked off. But that's just the beginning. So Harvard Gazette comes out with this article today. They're bashing diacetyl. They're talking about popcorn lung. How many times have we heard about the dang popcorn lung? So the popcorn lung, it's a disease. They call it the popcorn lung. There's a crazy scientific name. I'm not going to get into that because we're all not going to remember it. Popcorn lung, a few cases were brought on at a factory where they made like microwavable popcorn, I believe it was. And these people had constant contact through four shifts, you know, full shifts, 40 hours a week, to dust from popcorn flavoring. One of the many, 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 many chemicals in that popcorn compound, that popcorn flavoring, was diacetyl. There were also tons of other chemicals, but immediately they blamed it on the diacetyl. Now you have to remember these guys are working a full-time job in a factory, probably 40 hours a week, inhaling this dust on a constant basis with no breathing mechanisms, and you're not going to think they're going to have some respiratory problems. That leads us to an interesting point. Popcorn lung. So I only smoked for like 10 years, right? But I know several... I, I, my great-grandmother, good example, smoked for 50 years. Did she develop popcorn lung? Nope. Have we ever heard of popcorn lung generating from cigarette smoke? Dang, not one case worldwide. So... Cigarette smoke, hmm, it contains a crap load of diacetyl. And now, I've decreased my diacetyl by 119 parts per 120. So, 
Hmm. I think I'm choosing to live a little healthier lifestyle. Now, let's assume that the Harvard Gazette is talking about the what? 0.1% of people that just pick up vaping without ever smoking in the past. So let's go ahead and bash an entire community of well-educated people that research what they're doing, that most of the time know a lot about what's in their juice, where their juice is coming from, the companies behind their juice. That's what I try to help educate people on too, but a lot of people are seeing, seeking this out anyway. Let's bash this entire community of people that know what they're doing based on 0.1% of people that might be ingesting a little too much. Little too much. Will it create health problems down the road? It might. Guess what? It's going to create a hell of a lot less than the diacetyl that's in cigarettes. So um, I'm looking at vaping as a healthy alternative to smoking. Could I ever smoke, stop smoking without vaping? Some people do. I couldn't. I tried and I tried and I tried. I picked up the vape. Guess what? I don't smoke and I haven't in a while. So diacetyl, diacetyl, diacetyl. It's a never-ending conversation. I wish I didn't even have to make this video because we've been discussing it for over two years. I'm not worried about diacetyl in my in my e-liquid. I'm sorry, I'm not. And you're not going to convince me to start being worried about it because I was smoking 120 times more diacetyl before than I am now. And if that's a problem, sorry. Should I quit smoking and not inhale anything? Probably. But guess what? I shouldn't walk outside because the sun can give me skin cancer. I'm a little worked up. Misinformation, ignorance, it pisses me off. Don't bash our entire vaping community without some evidence. Do I want there to be a better testing reg regimen? Do I want there to be standards across the board? I do. But I want them to be put together the right way. And that's why it's taking time. You know, we're winning. In a lot of places, we're winning. And, and we need to continue to fight for our rights to vape, for our rights to vape what we want, where we want, how we want. Do I vape in a crowded bar? Heck no. I don't think it's respectful. Do I vape in close proximity to when I'm outdoors to other people? No. I think it's disrespectful. Do I blow my e-liquid vape in your face? No. It's disrespectful. I'm a respectful person and most people are. Are there people that walk into a crowded bar and just start vaping and they don't, they get upset when somebody addresses them? Yeah, but those are idiots. I also... You also see people pull out right in front of you on the freeway. You know, people do stupid things. But don't attack the entire vaping community off a chemical that you most likely know pretty much nothing about and have no idea how far we've come by quitting the horrible addiction of smoking and decreased massive levels of diacetyl in our system. So... That's pretty much my rant on diacetyl. You can tell me there was diacetyl in every bottle of juice I own right now, and I'm not throwing one of them away. Because I was smoking diacetyl, I'll pop me some popcorn at movie night with my girl, it's got diacetyl, it ain't gonna kill me. People die from smoking every day, every minute, every hour. None of them ever died at popcorn lung. Do I want to die because I couldn't quit smoking? Do I want my kids to grow up with a father because I couldn't quit smoking? No. So I choose to vape. And I'm glad I do. If you like what you heard today, go ahead, press the thumbs up, the like button. If you don't, press the thumbs down. I could care less. But don't knock me when you don't know what you're talking about. Vape on, guys.